Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Dior Forever lipstick. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. We are in the midst of another heat wave in the UK, in London. It is absolutely baking hot and I'm absolutely sweaty. So please forgive me that my face looks like this. It's the, be <laughs> it's the best I could do. Today I'm going to be testing out the brand new Rouge, D Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick. It's ultra pigmented, matte, bare lip feel, 27 shades, 35 pounds and 42 US dollars. So this comes in 27 shades. It's a huge shade range. Most of the shades are the dual classic shades. There are a few limited edition shades in there, but most of them are the classic. So if you love the 999 red, you'll find it. If you love the nude 100, which I do, then you'll find it. If you love rosewood, you'll find it. All of the classic shades are there. But like I said, they do have a couple of new shades and a, cute, a couple of limited edition shades. There was, a limit, there was a limited edition brand that I really wanted to try, but there weren't any pictures of on the models I just didn't know what it was going to look like everything else pretty much had shades had pictures of it on models of all skin tones which was really helpful but the one that I was really intrigued by the limited edition one didn't and it was too much of a gamble I felt to just get it just off the bullet picture so I decided not to get that and I only got one I was actually going to get like I had like six in my bag and then I felt like I don't even know what this formulation's like I don't even know if it's going to be nice I've got loads of dual lipsticks, I've got loads of lipsticks full stop, like do I really need to do this, is that necessary? And I actually stopped myself, I just kept filling up my cart and then one day I just took everything out of my cart and was just like no, just get one. And I don't even know if I've got the right one, so <laughs> we shall see. So it says Dior innovates with Rouge Dior Forever, the first transfer proof dual lipstick in a bullet format. Ultra pigmented for intense colour and concentrated in floral lip care. It ensures 16 hours of wear without compromising comfort. It says it's 16 hours of wear, so that's quite a bold statement. I'm going to try and do a wear test because that'll be really helpful. We'll see how long I can keep it on my lips. It says all day long, Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick is resistant to contact, even with fabric. Mature colour with an ultra matte finish does not budge. The shades are revealed and emboldened more intense than ever. If this works, this is going to be a really good lipstick for reds, which you always need to top up throughout the day. Pinks, any kind of bright colour that fades throughout the day and just leaves like a ring around your lips. This lipstick will be really good for that if it does really work. I'm going to show you guys the packaging, show you some swatches, and then I'm going to get in to a demo. Those are the swatches on. I actually really like the shade and as soon as I saw the number and swatched it, I remembered why I picked this one. I actually have the Dior Nude shade in 100. I really like that because it's like a really nice cool nude and it works really well with like a brown lip liner. It just cuts through and makes it look really like 
edgy and cool and really nice in winter, summer, all year long. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks. When I was looking through all the new shades, I saw 100, 200, 300, 400, and it looked like they were having nudes for different skin tones, and it, the 400 was quite a nice, rich brown. I don't really wear browns that much anymore, but 300 looked like a really nice shade. So I got that one because it felt like a richer nude, a nude for a richer skin tone and a new concept from Dior. So I got that. I don't know if it's already out in other ranges, but I saw it on this range and I felt like that would be the perfect shade for me. That's number 300. I like the packaging. It's really cool. It's got like a black matte packaging it's really hard to come up on camera because the light in the background just like washes it out but it's quite cool it doesn't feel like the most luxurious packaging in the sense it feels very lightweight i do like the fact that it's still got the black quilting and it's got the cd logo as well and the cd logo on top as well uh the lipstick itself looks really nice it's very slim line it does seem like it's going to perfectly hug the lip it looks like a really perfect color for me as well i'm really happy with the look of the shade comparing it to other things i have it kind of looks like a mix between the dior feu de bois and the victoria beckham posh pose which i really like the posh pose from victoria beckham is more of a moisturizing glossy lipstick and this is a matte so i feel like this would be a good one if you do like the posh pose but you want something a bit more matte you want something maybe a bit more long lasting this is quite a good option and so i like this i like the packaging i like the look of it on its own without the lid as well i think i prefer it on its own without the lid just when you're whipping it out i'm going to try it on 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 my lips just on their own and then i'll try it on with some lip liner as always charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense so i'm putting this on a totally bare lip no lip balm does have a very strong floral scent it glided on so easily it felt really nice but i could smell it straight away it smells very floral So that's it on with no lip liner the bottom lip looked fine the bottom lip looked fine but then as soon as i put on the top lip i was like oh my god i need lip liner it's not like the lisa eldridge uh meet me in berlin where i could just wear it on its own but it feels creamy well it doesn't feel creamy anymore but it did glide on in a very like easy effortless way it does have a little little bit more pull on it now it feels much more like a matte lipstick i think it will look good with some lip liner on and it doesn't look too crackly at all it feels pretty nice so I like the tone of it, I like the undertone of it, I feel like it could be a good shade for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take this off and then put on a little bit of lip liner, just a little bit. I have to be quick because it's so hot and then I will come back and try it on again. It does go on feeling very creamy and it does allow you to rub your lips together, which I do really like. It feels very silky at first, but then it does seem to have some kind of dry down. So as long as you blend in your lips pretty much straight away, you do get a nice creamy feel at the start. It's a really nice color. I like the undertone. It's like the perfect mauvey brownie nude. The only thing I don't love about this is the smell. It's not, it's not giving me a headache, but it does smell quite intense. As soon as you open it, you smell flowers and floral scent and it's just overpowering it's not necessary do you see that this is going to be long lasting because it does have a dry down to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you guys a quick final close up then i'm going to go about my daily life and then i'll come back later and give you guys a check-in either here or just when i'm out and about and um we'll see how it looks we'll see if it's still on but i'm liking this a lot i can see myself wearing this a lot in winter it's like a really cool shade number 300 let me know if it's in other um dual ranges maybe it is i probably just like missed the boat but it's a really really nice color and especially in this texture it's really nice because it starts off creamy um but then it dries down so i do like this a lot i'm feeling it a lot and my lips do feel very lightweight i don't feel like there's anything on them they're not rubbing together in a nice way anymore like they were a minute ago it doesn't feel as silky but it looks really nice and it looks like matte and cool and i think if i had the red on right now that would look really punchy and nice as well so i think this could be one to watch depending on how it wears and depending on whether it does last and how the edges and the middle go but i think this is actually a really nice lipstick i'm really glad i tried it
So guys, I'm gonna do a quick wear test. It is now 1.43 p.m. To see how long this lasts. I feel like this is gonna be a really good lipstick. I'm really happy with it so far. I love the shade. It's the mattest thing about me. Everything else is like so sweaty and so like shiny, but the lips are intact. So look, we'll see how they look. Hi guys, it's now 4.16. This is still on my lips and I've literally been ripping up salatic with my lips. I'm out um, because I'm moving. And so I've been like ripping up salatic. And it's still intact. My lips do feel quite dry but still looks cute. So I'll check in with you guys again later. It's been like two and a half hours. I don't know if it's gonna last 16, but I'll give it a good go. Hi guys, it's 6.50. It's still on. I've been drinking water, I've eaten. Looks good. I like it, but if this was red, definitely would be showing in the middle, so it's the same thing. But apart from that, I do like it. It's nice. My lips do feel a bit dry, but not as dry as I did before, so it's good. Check it out. Hi, guys. I've got gum in my mouth, which is very gross. So it's now. Oh, I just looked at the time I've got. It's now 7.50. I've had this on since 1.43. had this on since 1.43, so it's been six hours. It's looking pretty much the same but you can see in the middle it's kind of disappeared quite a lot so I presume if this was a red it would be doing what all of my reds do which is kind of disappear in the middle but I have been like doing a lot like I've been like I said packing, biting tape, uh, drinking water, eating and so it's not too bad it feels semi dry it doesn't feel as dry as it did earlier and I think if I put like a lip balm on it would be fine and have the same effect so I do think it is pretty good. It definitely won't be lasting 16 hours, which is what it said it would, but I don't really think I'd ever need it to last 16 hours. It seems a bit OTT. So yeah, not too bad at all. Boy. Fairly happy with it. A bit drying, but no more drying than a liquid lipstick, and less crackly than a liquid lipstick, so not too bad. That is it for now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the